Hello Capricorns and welcome back. Welcome if you guys are new. It is your girl Jazzy J here on this mic. This is Earth 5 Star, your favorite Capricorn only channel and this is going to be what you need to know about this new moon in Scorpio this Friday, November the 1st, 2024. We are going to dive right into these messages guys. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash those like buttons, leave a comment down below if you would like to do so. Just don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. I do love and appreciate y'all so, so much. So let's go ahead and dive right into these messages. Angel spirits and guides, show us what we need to see here, please, for Capricorn, for this new moon in Scorpio. We do have a couple of placements here that are going to bring in some interesting energy, Capricorn. Um, the new moon is going to be trying Saturn. Mars is also opposite Pluto. And then we have Mercury um mercury trine mars so there's some interesting energies but this new moon is definitely about um self-discipline self-reliability dedication loyalty and respect because of those saturnian placements as well um but let's see show us what we need to see here we have the energy of fork in the road Bottom of the deck here is higher power. Definitely feels like there is some sort of choice or decision that you're making, Capricorn. And I feel like this is a lot about, um, you know, what you are creating as far as stability is concerned, what you are um, kind of dedicating yourself to. This is, you know, your new beginning and what you are shifting into. And you are, are definitely questioning your old beliefs and your habits. Um, as you are making this decision into this new beginning, Capricorn, yeah, inspiration and courage. Um, and it feels, you know, again, it feels like, and I say again, because previous readings, we've been talking about this, it feels like you are in a very inspired, courageous energy or getting there because of what you are letting go of, because what you are no longer allowing. You are finding new ways to prosper here, Capricorn. And it also feels like, you are coming into a sense of balance between your ego and your subconscious mind, okay? But let's go ahead and um, keep going. We're going to grab one more Oracle card here. This is uh, Inspiration and Courage, and this is giving a lot of fire energy, and it feels like you know exactly what you want to do, exactly what you want to head towards. Bottom of the deck here is hibernation and regeneration. And again, I feel like you have been through a lot here recently. And whether this is, you know, mentally, physically, or emotionally, or all three, you definitely have been through a lot, creating a new perspective here for yourself. This choice and decision that you're making here is creating a brand new sense of stability in your life, a sense of structure, a sense of routine. Um, and a lot of you may be questioning which way you're going to go because it may be scary, it may be new, and you may not necessarily be ready for that. We have the energy of the thinking man come out too, which is really nice. Number 46 with journey at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you guys are headed in a brand new direction. And I feel like a lot of this is about perspective Capricorn. And I feel like a lot of this is about what you're choosing to do. Your um, determination is definitely going to be increased to make things happen. Um, and I, you know, I feel like this has also got a lot to do with formulating partnerships and this could be a masculine energy doesn't necessarily have to be but it is about formulating partnerships formulating a new beginning and allowing things to happen there may be a lot of inner tension here coming in with fork in the road as well um, between the internal and the external desires versus actions wow All right, let's get into this here, please. Show us more here, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show us more here with the fork in the road, number 13. And then the number uh, 46 is for the thinking man. Tell us about this fork in the road energy for Capricorn, for this new moon in Scorpio, November 1st, 2024. So you have the star, the magician, the knight of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the queen of swords. Wait, 
the star, the magician, the knight of pentacles, the seven of wands, the page of pentacles, the queen of swords. The tower, the ace of wands. And the four of pentacles. All right, Capricorn. So this is some intense energy that you guys um, are definitely going to be experiencing here with this new moon energy. Go ahead and make sure you guys smash that like button. And of course, make sure you leave your comments down below. This is getting to like very, very, very much to the point. Um, it definitely feels like spirit has shown you, you know, what you need to see, right? I feel like spirit has shown you what you need to see. I feel like this information has become very much available to you. I feel like you know exactly what you need to do, Capricorn. And a lot of you, this is a path. This is a position that you have manifested. You've been doing the work. You've been putting yourself, you know, in the positions that you need to in order to make this happen. Um, I feel like you've been very dedicated. This is, again, this is something that you've been dedicated to. This is something that you've been putting your energy and effort into. This is something that, you know, you are very loyal to the cause, right? This is not something new. This is something that's going to be showing a result, right, from work, from effort. But you're coming to that fork in the road point, which can be difficult, right? That energy can be difficult because now you're having to kind of utilize all of that knowledge, wisdom from the past and guidance and have trust and faith in the universe that this is going to happen. And then we move down, we have the seven of wands. There may be a little bit of hesitation and trust in the energy because of the past. It could also be because of um, lack of trust, lack of faith. I feel like a lot of you need to realize that spirit is giving you exactly what you want, is is showing you exactly what you need, but you still have to make a choice. And that choice may be very difficult for a lot of people. Why? Mm. I definitely feel like why the choice is difficult is different for everybody, but you're stepping out of your comfort zone when it comes to whatever this is. And we do have the seven of wands here with the tower kind of piggybacking off of it. So it feels like there may be a need to like kind of drop one's guard, but also keep firm in what you believe in and what you want. Um, again, you're being very honest. I feel like you're being very open. You're not, you know, having emotion towards it. You're definitely pulling emotion out of it. Um, and there's definitely a clear cut energy that comes in with conversation. Some of you are doing this from like this choice or decision that you're making is definitely about passion. It's about power, right? <coughs> Excuse me. It's about what you want, what you want to go after. For a lot of you, this choice and decision that's being made is either in love. We have the energy of the wounds, which is deeply committed, uncommon bonds manifesting. It's a deep desire. And then we have the spiritual energy here, which is the element of spirit. It's about allowing and trusting in divine timing, a binding force, a soul spark. So just, I mean, it's going to be different for everybody as to what it is, but it's very, you know, taking the emotion out of it, being very clear, and it's creating a new start. Yeah. Somebody is being very... Um, assertive um, and somebody is being very straightforward to the point here this is the energy of the wolverine wow bottom of the deck is the swans the soulmate twin flame card And then we have uh, the stepping stones, process of arrival, step-by-step -step spiritual growth. So feeling as if something or someone is arriving, someone is showing up, someone is coming in.
And it definitely feels like there is this sense of feeling in flow, feeling in balance with whatever this energy is. We have number four, number five, and then number 16. But number 16 is also the six of hearts. So it's like four, five, six. So it feels like there is a progression of energy here. And it feels very nice. Let's keep going here. Okay. Tell us about the energy of the star, the magician, and the knight of pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands. Strength. And the King of Coins. Hmm. Yeah, there has to be a sense of courage in letting go of what is no longer working, right? Understanding that you will be successful, understanding that things will work out. Um, because you've been consistent with it and not letting that go, Capricorn, not letting that energy go, even if you have to make a choice in a different direction. Page of Swords, Two of Wands. Five of coins, the emperor. I do feel like there is communication of some sort that comes through that allows things to move forward in some sort of new direction <clears throat> after difficulty and strife. And I do feel like this is coming from somebody who has a very um, reliable energy. This could be you. This could be another person. Give me two more. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yeah. So I feel like whatever happens, this conversation creates a new cycle in life. It creates change. Um, I feel like it brings things into perspective. It brings things into balance. It's something that will be great, uh, quite successful. Things are moving into a new and beautiful direction here, Capricorn, for you. So this is going to be, you know, a, not only just like a brand new cycle, but like a new moon with new, new energy. And this new moon is definitely good for relationships and long-term commitments and kind of getting those things into motion and making things solid. Um, so if that's something that you're looking for, I do feel like that is there as well. Wow. So we have karma, four D, spirit, love, empathy, compassion, and the root chakra.
Mm. There's something that is defrosting within the root part of your life, the root chakra. And for a lot of you, this is inner child work. This new moon is going to either rapidly defrost this energy, defrost whatever is left, or it's going to highlight what needs to be defrosted. This is about positive karma flow into your life and allowing yourself to grow and evolve. So I'm going to leave this here. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll speak to you in the next.